Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Heather Coltman, and it is such a pleasure to see you all here today. So I'd like to welcome all of the FAU faculty and staff and students and all of our special guests, especially Tzili, Mickey, and Nati, as we celebrate a transformational moment within the college and within Florida Atlantic University. We are here to celebrate the life and legacy of Leon Charney by naming our diplomacy program the Leon Charney Diplomacy Program in his honor with a $1 million gift from Tilly and the Leon Charney Foundation. <laughs> Tilly chose Florida Atlantic because of the diplomacy program's commitment to the peaceful resolution of conflict and the promotion of world peace and because she sees in the FAU diplomacy program the same excitement and optimism for resolving world problems that Leon had at Camp David. Silly's decision in selecting us to perpetuate Leon's profound legacy will allow our diplomacy program to continue preparing students for this critically important work throughout the globe. Her gift allows us to continue to expand our programs and build on some of the successes we've already had and thinking of some of those successes, did you know that in 2014, the FAU delegation won fourth place out of 350 institutions competing in that year's program? <laughs> and in 2016, the FAU delegation came second place out of 81 delegations. So we have had a lot of success already. We now are expanding to include the undergraduate honors program students in their very own delegation, and we are now including FAU high school students who are going to train with those honors students to compete at national competitions in DC. We have a brief video we'd like to share with you that talks about Leon, his work, and his legacy. And this was presented in December 2015 when President Kelly and FAU presented Leo with an honorary degree, Leon, with an honorary degree. So please watch this video. Peace means taking into account the dignity of other people and the fact that there are other people who have certain rights. Well, backdoor channels come in all different sizes and shapes. You've got backdoor channels where you're, you're dealing with people who are close to governments, maybe quite privately, and you're close to your own government, but you're not necessarily a government official. And you establish a dialogue quietly with people in another country and try to work with them to find ways then to influence your own governments. My old friend, good friend Leon Charney, was a back channel uh, in, in trying to convey information between uh, uh, the Israelis and the U.S. Leon's an American, uh, but he's very close to a lot of Israelis, and he was extremely close to Azar Weitzman, who was then the defense minister of Israel. And, uh, and Leon used to go back and forth between Bob Lipschutz, who was then the White House counsel, uh, to Jimmy Carter, and, uh, and, and sort of convey ideas and, and, and pass along information. Back channels can be important uh, because they give you a perspective that you don't get through the normal diplomatic means of where a particular party is coming out. Uh, the incentive for someone like Leon Charney to act uh, as such a, a back channel um, is because he wants to do good. He has a particular relationship with some of the parties um, and he can be trusted to be confidential to be discreet, uh, not to try to grab headlines. Leon Chani was an effective person, a committed person, who, in a very difficult period regarding the relation between Israel and President Carter, played a major role trying to reconcile I mean, the misunderstandings which dominated at that time relation between President Carter and the State of Israel. And he was enough strong and enough credible. He was very effective in it. I'm very delighted to be here with my friend Leon Charney. Uh, Bob Lipschutz and Leon had uh, avenues of uh, comprehension and friendship 
and communication uh, within the Middle East that someone in an official capacity like, like I had, or Secretary of State Vance, or Dr. Brzezinski could not have had. And they channeled to me both advice and information and, and messages that proved ultimately to be uh, very significant. And I'm deeply grateful to you. I never acted on behalf of anybody. I, I acted on behalf of peace. And my view and my focus was that uh, I'm a peacemaker. And that's what I was using my goals for. 37 years later, the Camp David Accord remains the gold standard against which negotiated settlements are compared. In the three decades before Camp David, Israel and Egypt fought four significant wars. In the nearly four decades since, the two have remained at peace with one another. The individuals who worked tirelessly to make the peace process possible deserve enormous credit and our gratitude. Leon Charney is such an individual. His dedication, determination, and creativity were on display as he compelled the principal actors to conclude this historic agreement. On behalf of Florida Atlantic University, I echo the sentiments not only of the United States, but the international community in congratulating and thanking Leon Charney for his contribution to world peace. The diplomacy program was established in 1996. We had 14 students, one faculty advisor. We were lacking in experience, knowledge, funding, and institutional identity. But those students had courage to represent their university at nationals, and they had ambition to confront and resolve the gravest problems facing humanity. In the simplest of terms, they wanted to make the world a better and safer place. Over the years and decades, the program has grown in popularity and in size. The financial picture has improved. We become a linchpin of the university. Our students have competed in New York, Washington, Chicago, Indianapolis, Portland, Seattle, San Francisco, and the Netherlands. They brought home 18 national and international awards for academic excellence. But what is consistent throughout these 21 years is that ambition, that desire to confront and resolve the gravest problems facing humanity. Today we open a new chapter in the history of the diplomacy program. As a direct result of this remarkable gesture of support and generosity from the Leon Charney Foundation, we're able to immediately open the doors even further so that greater numbers of students have the opportunity to participate, to acquire the skills, and to allow their ambitions to be on display at these national and international competitions. But what is most important about today is that for the first time our students have a genuine hero, a real life role model, someone to emulate, someone to inspire, someone who has achieved remarkable amounts of success throughout their career. Leon Charney certainly exemplifies everything that we believe here at Florida Atlantic University, and our program in the future hopes to exemplify everything that Leon Charney represented. His diligence, determination, his unbridled ambition made it possible to solve a conflict between Israel and Egypt that most everyone viewed as irretractable. And what that says to our students is that every problem is resolvable. There is no challenge too great. There is no gulf that's too wide. Perhaps the next Leon Charney is in this very room, or maybe she or he is an elementary school student in South Florida, or perhaps a high school student in Sili Charney Center in Israel. And what we say to them is that the doors are open. Our program welcomes you. Come here, acquire the skills, hone all of those expectations, and allow your unbridled ambition to take you further than you've ever imagined, to accomplish things that are seemingly impossible. And for that, Silly and the Charney Foundation, we all thank you and thank you greatly. It is my distinct pleasure to invite to the podium an ambassador of the FAU Leon Charney Diplomacy Program. Uh, Celine Vasquez was a student in our program recently. She will now deliver remarks and gratitude on behalf of the students of the program. Celine.
Mr. President, members of the Charney family, and FAU community. It is my honor to be here today as an ambassador of the Leon Charney Diplomacy Program. I am a graduating senior from the Harry L. Wilkes Honors College on the Jupiter campus and had the privilege to compete in nationals in the 2016 New York Conference where our Italy delegation received the Distinguished Delegation Award. More recently, at the 2016 Washington DC Conference, FAU received Outstanding Delegation Award and placed second out of 80 participating universities. The diplomacy program offers a fast-moving, competitive challenge for many students. But to a great deal of us, it means something more. The diplomacy program has helped us grow into leaders, discover our futures, become confident in ourselves, and form lasting friendships with the people in our community and from all over the world. I found friends in people with different backgrounds, cultures, and fields of study, from California to Kentucky, Texas, and New York, from Japan, Pakistan, Afghanistan, Mexico, Italy, Germany, and Spain, just to name a few, it still amazes me to have the opportunity to learn about others, their cultures, and their own perspective on global issues firsthand, and to be able to take advantage of an educational experience that emphasizes collaboration and cooperative resolution. As I reflect these past four years, I cannot help but be grateful for the vital role the Leon Charney Diplomacy Program played in my own professional academic and personal development. Without hesitation, I would embark on this experience all over again, as I am grateful for all the wonderful memories, long-lasting friendships, and numerous skills the diplomacy program gave to me. While I will continue, which I will continue to take advantage of and apply in the next phase of my life at law school and beyond. Once again, on behalf of the diplomacy program, students, past, present, and future, I would like to sincerely thank you for this remarkably impacting gift to the program. I am proud to be an ambassador of the Leon Charney Diplomacy Program. Thank you. Thank you so much, both of you. And now I would like to welcome President John Kelly to the podium for his remarks. Thank you, Heather. You know, it's interesting uh, when people come together from different walks, you never know exactly where things might end. Um, Malcolm Dorman asked me, would I like to meet Leon Charney? And of course, who would not like to meet Leon Charney? Uh, it's a famous name, and not only a famous name, but a person who's shown extraordinary courage and wisdom beyond what any human being probably has ever shown in terms of a peacekeeper. So I had a chance to meet Silly and, and Leon. Uh, and, and have breakfast with them, and it was a, just a wonderful time. And, and I got even more intrigued uh, with Leon and was able to watch the entire movie of, about uh, things that he had done in his life. And I realized uh, we should do something special without asking for anything in return, something special for Leon. So we chose to give him an honorary doctorate to recognize the uniqueness that he had approached the peacekeeping process and, and to celebrate his life. Last week I was in the White House, and as we were walking through the White House, you know, there are lots of different pictures, uh, but I'd say real estate is pretty precious on the walls of the White House. There are very few people that are recognized. You, you see the picture of uh, Ronald Reagan and Nancy standing there outside the Red Room. Uh, you go down a bit uh, and you see uh, the picture of, um, of uh, um, Bill Clinton. You see the picture of John Kennedy uh, in, in sadness. Kennedy's face is like this, uh, turning away. And then you come to the picture. Uh, it's the only picture that I saw that had President Carter in it. Uh, and they're out, seated outside the White House. And it's the day of the signature of the Camp David Accords. And so Begin, Sadat, Carter, all sitting there, signing a document that was possible only through the gift and the wisdom of, of Leon Charney. And so when you think of Carter's entire presidency, that's the one recognizing point uh, that's displayed in the White House. Uh, Silly, and, and to your, you and your boys, uh, it is such an honor for us to share the Charney name now with the generations to come who will not only benefit from the generosity of the gift, but the, uh, the access that a name like Charney gives them uh, to a stage that most kids would never have a chance to, to walk on. And Jeffrey, you've created such a program uh, of distinguishing uh, characteristics that uh, you're the envy, I think, of this country. You did it with no resources, uh, and uh, you have taken us to the number two in the country, and I'm uh, certain with unbridled ambition. 
we will soon be number one. Thank you so much, Silly, and let me have you ask for, say a few words. Um, hi, everyone. Mickey, Nati, you want to come here? No, so, okay. <laughs> okay. At least we know you're here. Um, it feels very good to be in this room. This room, I'm a costume designer, and this is my real place. Um, but, uh, as John said, uh, thanks to Malcolm, because Malcolm is, uh, the resp is responsible for our shidduch. You know what shidduch means? And uh, I have to say that last year when you gave Leon the honorary doctorate, this was his last major honor before his death. And it made him so happy. And as bad as he was, uh, this was his really last glory days. And uh, to the extent of the level that he's used to, you know. Uh, everybody has their own level. Leon needed a big level, and he got it. <laughs> And it was wonderful. So for that, I'll always keep you in my heart. Um, last week, we marked the first year of Leon passing. And uh, something like this is really, really, really so, uh, something that Leon would have liked to sit here. Uh, but I, wherever he is, um, we mark it well. And I think that we carry his name in the best way. Uh, as I told uh, Jeffrey, Leon's, uh, for Leon, communication was key. And um, he, Leon was a very unique individual um, that worked on his own, usually. As, as much as he was working with others, he was working on his own. And um, he used his own key, his own way. And in many ways, nobody knew how to use that key. And he carried it very well. He was able to take complicated things and simplify them in a level that everybody would get it and still stay uh, sophisticated. And he did it in a very unique way. In order to do things like that, most of us need teams. You cannot do it on your own. And um, one of the reasons that I spread it among young people is because I don't want people to look for Leon's key and um, study his legacy and his road. Uh, just to look your, for your own key and find your way. Uh, things are being different, things are changing, you have different ideas, it's all okay. It, not only one person can change the world, we need many. Uh, and as long as you just listen well all the time, uh, keep the dialogue going, never close the doors. There's always something behind that can really take you to a better place. Just find it in yourself and be strong about it. Um, Jeffrey, thank you so much. Um, one of the things that I like the most is to hand my keys in good hands. And uh, I'm very particular about it. And I do it very carefully everywhere. And Jeffrey is a good holder and a good keeper. And I know you'll take this program furthermore in the best way. And I'm happy to uh, help your value to grow. Um, we have a center in Israel, the Leon Sartre is Charney Resolution Center, that I opened for Leon uh, in the center of Israel uh, with an international high school. And um, I would love at the end, at the or down the road uh, to have graduates from that program coming here to your program and combine with other universities that we are dealing with so we can really extend the force of youth and brilliant minds and good souls uh, to create a better world. So good luck. So in closing, um, special thank you, Tzili, yet again for this transformational gift that's going to really allow us to continue doing so many amazing things. Um, we all know what a great scholar and teacher Jeffrey Morton is. I just want to give another shout out to Jeffrey for his incredible leadership. So we do have a small gift for you, Tzili, a little token of our appreciation that honors this special day. 
please come back up here. <laughs> and we hope that you cherish this as a memory of today's event. Please continue to enjoy the reception and note that many of our diplomacy program students are here. Feel free to engage with them in conversation. I promise you will enjoy getting to know them. Thank you all so much for being here. Goodbye.